What if they would have baked some jalapenos in there? And then we dipped it in ranch. Woo! Welcome everybody to a special versus episode of Fung Bros Food. And since we just did that Costco Food Court 2018 review, a lot of people requested that we do Sam's Club, the other warehouse membership club that's out there. These two stores are rivals. These are the juggernauts. You've got Costco, you've got Sam's Club. You've Sam got McDonald's, you've got Burger King. The menu at Sam's Club is a little bit smaller, but I heard some items not only rival, but might beat Costco's items. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I think the key thing after Costco nicks the the Polish off their menu, just the next month, Sam's Club added it to their menu. That was the dude that's been DMing your girl for a long time and then you guys break up and he swoops in. Kind of like when uh, Nike went after all of Kanye's people mm -hmm. to do collabs after Kanye went to Adidas. So we're gonna review the food, we're gonna rank the food, and then we're gonna share some tips and hacks for you when you go to Sam's Club. Sam's Club Food Court, let's go! Wow. Okay, all right, coming up first, we are going to try the pizza here at Sam's Club. You know Costco, very well known for the pizza, but Sam's Club coming in with some promising looking slices here. I do also feel some great privilege and honor that it is on us to solve one of America's greatest rivalries. Yes. Wow. The Costco we... Food Court versus the Sam's Club Food Court. They got cheesy breadsticks, they have a pizza pretzel, which is actually a hack, and then they have this jalapeno pepperoni pizza, so. Yo, we gotta get into the pizza. Let's go, let's now, go. Now, immediately, the pizza. I saw you go, yee! When you saw the jalapeno on the pepperoni. Yo, Costco don't got jalapenos. At Costco, they only have three types of pizza. They have cheese, pepperoni, and combo. Here, we're looking at how many types. <laughs> Same five five. different, Sam's Same Club five. has five different types of pizza. They got Costco the starting five, bro. You got pepperoni jalapeno, you got your pep, you got your meat lovers, which has bacon, sausage, bacon. and pepperoni. And then you have your cheese, and then you have your combo slice. So we just cut the cheese slices in half, okay? You got the little bubbles on the back. This looks like literally the sole on an Ultra Boost. This is the Sam's Club cheese pizza. Man, I'm not gonna lie, I like that cheese. You know what that cheese actually really tasted like? It had a very strong mm. mozzarella taste. Less tomato sauce. More cheese. Wow, there's like no I sauce know. on that. But what I like about it, it's thin. Right. Pasta pizza, hella thick. We need to move on to the pepperoni. Okay. Right. Now we got the Sam's Club pepperoni. These are cut in half, so this is not the real size. Yo, not a lot mm. of sauce. But I will say, a lot of good flavor. Mm. Mm. They got ranch? Yeah. 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 I got excited, no. man. You said the oh, ranch. I got excited. I was like, where, where, where? Hey. So this is sauce that you can buy at Sam's Club. It's sitting on the rack right next to the register. If you guys know, I think in California, in particular, West Coast, everybody loves ranch on pizza. In New York, they call this the California ketchup. All right. I call this the goat sauce. I put it on everything. Mm. Nice. See that? I got a little sauce squeezing off the side. I like that. So far, so good, man. Okay, the next slice that we're trying is the combo slice. Yes, this is like your supreme pizza. It's gonna have all your veggies on it. Green peppers, red peppers, sausage, olives, some onions, some mushrooms, pepperoni, white onions. Those are canned mushrooms. I know those aren't real. Sam's Club combo slice. Really different experience. The thinness of the crust, it really accentuates oh, the toppings. That um, sausage is really coming through. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I like that. Mm, 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 mm. Wow, that sausage is strong. Yeah. What did he just say? Wow, that sausage is strong. Wow, I like that. Wow, that sausage is strong. Wow, I like that. Wow, that sausage is strong. Wow, I like that. Wow, that sausage is strong. Wow, I like that. The crust is way thinner. Look it just that. enhances all the other parts of the stuff. The outside crust is very puffy and big, but then when you get to the inside, man, it's just look thin. at it. Just look, look how at thin that. it is, man. Okay, the next slice is a flavor of pizza that Costco does not offer, which is jalapeno pepperoni. Pepperoni already has pepper in it, but you throw on the extra kick with the jalapeno. I don't really taste the jalapeno. Mm. You guys taste the jalapeno? Really? I do. I do a little bit. But this is how you eat it. You take the jalapeno out. Just bite it. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow. you okay. doing it? Let me do that. Let me do that. Oh, I feel it. Mm -hmm. it I would say for one slice, I prefer it to a pepperoni, but if I had to eat two slices, mm -hmm. I'd want the regular flavor. There's a concept of marginal value. You know, anytime it's like a, one piece of fudge is delicious, two or three pieces of fudge is almost worthless. The law of diminishing returns. The law of diminishing returns. Diminishing returns. <laughs> diminishing <laughs> returns. <laughs> the water diamond paradox, I got it. All right, guys, I think this pizza goes really well with ranch because you know this is a very spicy right. pizza. Ranch. Mm. Uh, fiend. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you like, 
don't know, guys. The pizza is pretty good, man. It looks like there's less uniformity in the crust thickness. Uh, well, I look, 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 look at, at how the difference. This look is crazy. My. Maybe they knew that David likes the thick ones, you know? Double C's, you know? Costco has a tendency to undercook their crusts. These crusts are cooked all the way through. Meat lovers. Let the bacons fly. <laughs> When pigs fly, right? Let's give the definitive ranking of flavors real okay. quick. I would say that it went combo slice one, then jalapeno pepperoni, then pepperoni, then cheese. At the bottom of my list was meat lovers. I can agree with most of that list. Ranking number one for me is the pepperoni jalapeno. Bite for bite, I thought that was the best pizza. Two would pizza. you guys agree with me that the top two out of the five flavors went combo and then pepperoni jalapeno being interchangeable at one and two? False. False. What? Say what it is! Jalapeno pep for the meat lovers. All right. Combos and meat Combos lovers. Combos and meat lovers. It's pretty much been said that if you go to Sam's Club, definitely try the combo slice and the pepperoni jalapeno in the battle of Sam's Club pizza versus Costco pizza. Which one you roll? I give it a four out of five. Sam's Club pizza over Costco oh! right now. It's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, the other things that I would point out, I prefer the taste of the cheese with Sam's Club. Two extra interesting flavors. Those were big for Sam's Club and the crust is thinner. So right now I am rolling with Sam's Club pizza. It wasn't even close. It wasn't, Sam's okay. Club destroys Wow, wow, wow. that's Pizza a big statement. Sam's Club you know what? That's big. You know what? Each slice is $1.99, same price as Costco. Oh, trust me, rolling with Sam's Club pizza. Okay, moving on from the pizza, we have the other competing item, which is the hot dog and now the new Polish dog. That was a real ruthless business tactic. Yeah, man. When they added the Polish like immediately. Hey, but you know what? Polish was sitting there. Who's gonna pick me up? Uh, Who's gonna pick me yo. up? Yo, here I have some hot dogs and Polish dogs. All right, guys. All right, you guys, we're gonna figure out. We're gonna try to decipher whether this is a hot dog or a Polish. Hot dog. Cause I've eaten a Polish dog my whole life. This don't taste like one. Yeah, here's a hack. I got this nacho cheese dip. So I'm gonna go stick my hot dog and some nacho cheese dip. Boom. But I will say, guys, you know why the hot dog, the regular hot dog at Sam's Club is pretty good? It's because it's Nathan's Famous. Nathan's Famous is what they use the hot dog eating contest for. Shout out to Kobayashi. What's your verdict, bro? Costco's hot dog better. Very similar. I don't like the bread. Oh, it's goodness. dry. Oh. The bun is a no-go. Guys, no. another hack. When you put the marinara on the hot dog, it tastes like one of those Italian sausages. I'm gonna try to make this as good as possible. I'm just sticking a jalapeno. You wanna make it as good as possible? You eat it without the bread. It's like Carmelo. Like, you know, he's still good at shooting. Yeah. But man, his defense is so no. So bad, it's messing up all the coverages. It's almost like it got disqualified. For my rating, I'm gonna give it a two out of five. I will give it a 2.5 out of five. With the fixings, I'll give it a 3.5 out of five. Wow. By itself, bread and dog versus bread and dog, I would still take Costco. The marinara sauce saved that <laughs> Guys, I gotta talk about the drink in my hand. I am holding an exclusive Mountain Dew flavor. It's called the Blue Monsoon. That's my brand name, I stand by it. Just like Clorox, just like Kleenex. I stand behind it, I guarantee it. What does it taste like, dude? I actually tastes like a blue icy mixed with some Mountain Dew. That was gonna like it. Wow. By the I way, I love Mountain Dew drinks, and this is by far probably the best one I've ever But you drank. know what you- <laughs> You gotta try the Icy's, man. You know when Icy's not Icy, it's really different. This one tastes a little bit like cough syrup. I like, I like Icy's more than Slurpees. The ice is uh, softer. Moving on to the next item from Sam's Club, we have the burger, which is a $2.99 burger. Rivals the $4.99 burger from Costco. Five dollars. I actually like the Costco burger, not for the $4.99 price. If it was a little cheaper, I think it's pretty solid. But based off the Sam's Club burger, it looks like you know, half the price, it looks like half the quality. Can I tell you about the special feature? Okay. This is a bacon cheeseburger. Before we start, that bun just reminds me of the hot dog bun. <laughs> I'm just you're, you're saying. saying you're don't judge a burger by its right. buns. $2.99 bacon cheeseburger. Oh, wow. It definitely tastes like school, man. I gotta put a jalapeno in it. I gotta put some more of these onions on it. Bun wasn't as bad as I thought. The patty's not bad. Actually, you know, I kinda dig the patty. It's more charred. I feel like they put it on a pan or something, maybe yeah. a grill. Whereas Costco's are steamed. I give it a, a 2.5 out of five. Okay. I would agree. I was gonna say 2.5. You saying 2.5 out of five? five? I'm giving it a 1.5 out of five. I stuffed it with jalapenos. I stuffed it with chopped onions. I'm not with it. Well, it and look, there's no lettuce. There's, there's no, no tomatoes this in there. This patty ain't even like, it's it hella even, dry. It ain't even a real patty. It's so rough, you could sand down something you could smooth out a surface all right now guys we are down to the snacks here we have a plain pretzel now we have our made to order off the menu pizza pretzel Woo! you got plain pretzel pizza pretzel Bread cheese sticks yeah, the, the buff the, pretzel the pretzel is belly. shredded yo yo what did they make this pretzel out of? oh my gosh time? look at this coming in at 99 cents we got the plain pretzel 
boom, nacho cheese. The dough is soft in the middle, but hard on the outside. I'm not gonna lie, that pretzel to me was a little bit better than I mm. thought. That's some good bread. Good if dough. the dough was, you know, made the same way as in the middle all around, I would give it a four out of five. Besides that, three out of five, three out of five. Just for the surprise factor, four out of five. If it was cooked right, a 3.5 out of five. Yeah, Yo, fair. for a plain pretzel, I actually like the consistency. I like how it's crispy on the outside. Super, super soft and fluffy on the inside. And guys, now I'm not gonna lie, we've been hyping it up. If I like the plain pretzel that much, there's a chance I like this pizza pretzel a lot. Oh, man. Oh, it's it looks, still it, warm on the, oh. oh. Yo, I like this it right here. It does look like it's been cooked well. Oh my gosh, look at that. Guys, I'm looking, look, I'm looking, look, I'm looking, look, I'm looking. Look, look. Oh my God. Coming in at $1.69, the pet pretzel. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, we dipping already? Wow. Mm. Mm. The pretzel's good on this one. Throw in the pepperoni. I gotta point out, look at this bottom of the pretzel, kind of soaked up some of that grease. So it's a little bit orange. I like that though. Mm. My goodness, my goodness, my goodness. I give it a four out of five. What if they would have baked some jalapenos in there? Ooh! And then we dipped it in ranch. Oh. My ball back. This pretzel can definitely rival the mall pretzels. Bring it in the ranch. In the ranch. All right, before I even dip this, 4.5 out of five for the pepper. Say pretzel. no more. Mm -hmm. Strong showing. I'm rolling with 4.5 on the pretzel. Before we get to dessert, we have the churro for 99 cents, and then we have the cheesy breadsticks for 2.99. They're like Kit Kat bars, bro. I see some oregano. Maybe some green scallions. Solid oh, garlic yeah, flavor. Mm, yeah. From the garlic butter. Mm. Going in. Oh, before you eat it. Hey, 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 hey I got you. Mmm. That's a head fake right there. It has mozzarella cheese. The bottom has a little bit of oil, so that means the bottom is a little bit more like buttery and crispy. And you can see that right there. And that's what I like. I give them a three out of five. Yeah, three out of five. Totally worth it. Let's bring in dessert. All right, all right, guys, let's try the churro. This is another competing item. All right. Churro. It's a little bit more moist inside. Overall, not a bad churro. Way more egg taste. I knew it. That's like an egg tart, bro. Kind of tastes like cornbread to me. Not bad, but not better. Big facts. Two out of five. I give the Costco ones five out of five, no. so I guess then three maybe. So, okay, so I'm giving it a little bit extra points just because it's more unique tasting. It doesn't taste like a usual churro. 3.5 out of five. Here we had a chocolate frozen yogurt soft serve, and then we had the vanilla yogurt with berry. I was able to taste it, and my quick review is that it's kind of good. This tastes like a frosty, and yes, with the Dannon frozen yogurt, this one's pretty tasty too. All right, you guys, we just went through the entire Sam's Club food court menu. What are your guys' major takeaways? We start off really strong with the pizza, cool down with the hot dog and the burgers. Sam's Club stuff, they do have certain items that are better. I was really impressed by the pizza. One thing I noticed is that Sam's Club tends to rely a lot less on in-house development yeah. and more collaborations with outside brands. I gotta give props to Costco for being, you know, internal development. The good thing is you can eat at Sam's Club and go into the food court without a membership. I think you gotta try the jalapeno pep. I guess gotta go with the pepperoni pretzel. Now it's a throw in the Mountain Dew drink, man. You gotta get the marinara. Number one, that is a good side. Put By that far. onto the pizza. Get the chopped jalapenos. And then you get the onions, and you get the ranch, and then last, if you want, get the nacho cheese. I have a new found appreciation for Sam's Club. And I think I'd like to see them bring in Cinnabon. I think they should do seasoned fries. Potato corner. Potato corner is fire, man. A Foster Farms chicken sandwich. Please let us know in the comment section below what are some other things that you would like to see us try in the same vein as the Costco food court. All right, everybody, that is it for the Sam's Club food court review. Shout out to Nelson, Nelly Nell Chan from Hoopin' Life, David, Andrew from the Fung Bros. Turn your notifications on. Click subscribe if you haven't. Until next time, we out. Peace. Peace. Sometimes if you eat a fresh Costco pizza, It'll like mm. clump up with the yeah. cheese and you're in your throat, you kind of get that gag reflex, you, ah, ah, and then you can pull out the glob. Am I gonna die on the Costco pizza? You know what? Is this how I go out? Is this really how it all ends for me? Water! <laughs> yeah, water. you're just like, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> like Bill and Ted's. Uh, like, you, like you can make a whole movie.